Greetings YouTube. I want to start off this video by saying I have not had time to read any of the comments on the YouTube video or see my line messages, etc. But I am uh, truly moved by the response of the community from the passing of our dear friend. And uh, in the spirit of how much she loved this game, I'm really excited that this announcement came out today because she was so excited to become Cavalier and continue to play the game that I want to continue to do that in honor of her and get excited when the game improves because we all want this game, hopefully, if you're watching this, to be around for years to come and to be better than it has been. So what's coming in the contest is the discussion for today. Building the best contest is seriously the uh, subheading of all of this. So lead game designer, Captain Sparkles fanboy, Kabam That Jim here to introduce a new series of blog posts coming from the MCS development team that will provide deep dive into the future of the contest. Uh, soaked up feedback, anger rants, passionate pleas, some truly brilliant ideas for the game, <laughs> some we totally haven't stolen. I will say, when they put sarcasm in post, I actually enjoy it. Feels like it's more casual, less formal. Uh, in general, I just, you know, I appreciate that. With so much to sift through, we wanted to take the time to forge a new path ahead for the contest that covers every major area of the game. Across each area, our goal is to resolve some of your biggest frustrations, inject much-needed content, and bring all new ways to play MCOC. I essentially read this as, we realize the game is dying. We realize that we're at a crossroads, and unless we improve many aspects of it, maybe the game won't be here for long. And so this is kind of like the MCOC life blood injection. It's like the stimulus. It's like the MCOC stimulus. There are far too many things for us to squeeze this into one post, and we want to give you time to unpack each one, so we'll be releasing parts every few days from next week. Let me give you an insight into what to expect from each part to get your spidey senses tingling. Well, let's not have to jump into Peter Parker's wallet to make that happen. Okay, part one quest, 23rd of June. Part one is all about the future of the core of MCOC, our quest content on top of the swaths of monthly content and event quests, meta events, and other specialist content. We're committing to a new level of quality, scale, and challenge from the future of quests. Here's a breakdown of what we'll be providing a deep dive on. A new vision, explore the new direction for the core story content MCOC, Act 6, all the changes coming to Act 6. Bye-bye, attack values, hello, fresh champion fight. Yay for all of those of you who cannot beat the champion because it is truly the maybe the most BS fight. In the history of the game. Book 2, Chapter 1, learn about the new direction, challenge, and gameplay of the latest act. Variant 5, Cavalier difficulty, rewards boost. Uh, we did learn a little bit about that yesterday for the bonus rewards for the Abyss. The soundtrack, Book 2, has more than just epic new gameplay. New sounds are coming. Boss Rush and more. We haven't had Boss Rush in a long time. Uh, part 2, Alliances. A few days later, we come to MCFC social page, Alliances. After years of iteration, a few new toys to play with. We feel it's time for some bigger changes to Alliances. In the short term, we'll be bringing many quality of life features to reduce stress and time features, or time pressures, excuse me, but there are some big features in the pipeline too. Here's an overview of what the Alliance team will be diving into. Alliance tools, an all-new set of tools, including battle group lane and defender assignments, new narrative, map nodes, uh, for war, defensive tactics, and rewards, season 19. War future, brand new vision for the future of Alliance War and the gameplay it may bring. Quest rebalance, evaluating timers, energy, and no design options to reduce stress. Quest features, epic new features. A help system improvements. Help all? Well, no, it can't be, can it? You bet your rear end it is. So they have been telling us for years that the server will crash if we create a help all button. And actually believed it. Seeing as though if I give a champion 10 sig stones all at once, they somehow can't have a server not have connection issues for that. And so you think help all is just going to crash it, but just maybe they figured it out. And that is one of the biggest improvements, as small as it may sound, in the game's history. Uh, champions. Here's what I'm most excited about, right? MCOC is all about the awesome roster champions we have crafted over the past five years, but what does the future hold for champions and what do we have planned for champions of the past? And this part will break down our vision for buffs to the aging roster, reworks, etc. Okay, so future vision. <laughs> when I see this, I first think, are we talking more about OG vision? We haven't offered him in a while. We're working our way to buffing at least two champions a month. That is amazing. I mean, that is 
the best news for so many average summoners who have so many champions on the roster, especially you six-star rosters out there who don't have a single beyond God tier or God tier champ. You've got a bunch of middle tier champs. I covered late last night or early this morning how excited I am about the the uh, hit monkey synergy with Black Bolt combined with the royal family. But uh, Magneto, it's finally happening. Magneto will be worthy of his name. You nerfed him a little bit in patch 12.0. Remember that? So thank God for that five-star releases. Now here's where it gets interesting. Always wondered about those missing champions from five-star. They're coming. Are you telling me that we can see a five-star Scarlet Witch? Don't get my hopes up, Kabam. I have trust issues because of you. You've said, Kabam Mike, that five-star Scarlet Witch is never coming to the contest. You've said that in a couple of forum posts in the past. We've covered that on this channel. If now you're saying, just kidding, we're getting a five-star Scarlet Witch? Oh my gosh. The love of my life, outside of maybe someday my wife, she'll still be number two, is uh, that's going to be seriously game-changing. But I just, until I see it, I won't believe it, even though in theory, when you say those missing champions from the five-star, you're talking about Wolverine, you're talking about Scarlet Witch, you're talking about champions who you've essentially said will never come into the five-star. But maybe you'd rather that happen than lose the game. How about that? Uh, champion T's learn about future champions during the contest. Crystal update, more control, and brand new crystals are coming. Now, more control usually means Nexus or Focus crystals. I've been talking about that all year. Signature stones, more abundant and accessible six stones. Dual targets, we covered that. There's now dual any champ any time. That's awesome. Keep those eyes peeled on June 29th and in the future of the contest. On top, myriad of epic new features, content, and rebalancing coming. We have bigger plans to bring new interactions just for fun gameplay. I mean, I always tell my students some things put the F you in fun, so that's very exciting. And greater challenges for you to take on. We've never provided a look behind the curtain like this before. You'll get an insight into features and development ideas that you may never see the light of day. It's your chance to help guide the future of the contest. Here's what we'll be diving into. A range of smaller updates coming soon. Arena improvements. Yes, better AI, a.k.a. not, not feeling like in those death matches that you're going to uh, have all or nothing nodes. Less screens. I wonder what that means and a more engaging grind all to come more engaging grind absolutely sounds like an internet phrase incursions future what's coming incursions gameplay buffs and rewards hopefully some six star shards for a change social progression a brand new social progression system is coming learn about it here and then new gameplay new mode content commitment our contract with you to keep it up and deliver more this will be the biggest set of reveals in mcfc history giving you an insight into the future of the contest like never before and this is just the beginning so Thank you, Kabam That Jim, your load game designer. After a night of almost no sleep and delirium, this is the kind of news I needed personally to revitalize myself, not just in the coming hours today, but in the coming weeks and months in general. Not that I won't mourn, but I won't also celebrate the improvement of the game that Queen loved so much and would have drank many drinks to. So if you want to honor Queen, if you don't drink alcohol... Have your favorite non-alcoholic drink, and if you do, there's a lot more where that came from. That's what Queen always said, at least. Thanks for watching, YouTube. I'm excited about these updates. Let's hope 5-Star Scarlet Witch is actually possible. Say it ain't so, Kabam. Say it ain't so.